All right. Number 10. Monel's parents. Monel had some really cool, or at least his parents had some really cool um, color coding going on. I thought the uh, costumers did a great job. Anytime the dad was starting to turn good, his colors would start to get really light. You know, going from black to a gray top, bottom, and dark bottoms. And the e more evil Rhea got, the darker her colors got. I thought that was a really cool shout out. And it just shows that, you know, the costume department has an eye for detail and continuity. I thought that was really nifty. Though he was short for this world, Kevin Sorbo sure did look fine in his outfit. <laughs> this is a truth. This is a truth. I loves me a good Hercules. I really do. <laughs> That's true. All right, uh, number nine. Uh, hello, Rhea and the high collar. Yes. Oh my god. That is the kind of collar you go out to a nice restaurant and order bourbon and talk about, talk about stock. World domination. Just world domination. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was like a, that was a Maleficent high collar. That was it really like, was. I'm an evil bitch collar. Just look at my collar. You don't even need to go further than that. <laughs> Who's the greatest? <laughs> Alright, number number eight. Ace blue ace reporter. Yes. When Le when when the doorbell rang, little did we know, little did Kara know what would be on the other side. <laughs> it was Lena's sexy ass blue jacket and herself. Yes, honey. Oh my god. We didn't know we we didn't know we liked blue that much until <laughs> I wasn't until ready. Lena rolled in. I wasn't, yeah. I actually went into my crayon box and threw away all the other colors except for the blue. <laughs> <laughs> and then like underneath the blue was like this darker cerulean blue dress. Th that whole episode was just like all sorts of shades of blue. I'm just Shady like, blue. stop it. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, number seven. That musical dress or that black dress in the musical episode Miss uh, Supergirl herself was wearing. That was swanky AF. Yes, and, and, honey. <laughs> and she was singing the song from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Uh, what was it? Moon River? Bo yes, Moon River. Moon River. Exactly. You got it. If you're if you're if you're wearing a black sequins dress, you gotta sing some Moon River. <laughs> I mean, really, let's be honest with ourselves, because those sequins weren't gonna sing themselves. She <laughs> made it look fabulous. And like, like loves. Yes. Right? Even even Barry Allen, aka Flash, was like, yes. That's we all even... shipped it for a hot second. We did. We really did. I know I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. That's true. All right, so okay. uh, number six. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, we, we thought we loved blue until we saw the red and the, and Lena rolled into to Kara's office for a kombucha date. <laughs> 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 Lena in the red, the red coat. We saw it twice this season. We saw it for when she goes on. Clearly, she wears it for all her kombucha dates. But then she also wears it when she's uh, stopping her mom from from killing all the aliens on the planet. You know, it's clearly a coat for all seasons. <laughs> <laughs> and it and it goes with it goes so well with her taser with the taser and the black purse with the. It's it's true. <laughs> the I black mean, purse with the taser. You have to match your coats to your weapons accessories. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's to really your purses, important. to your weapons accessories, yes. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> okay, number five. Yes. Oh yes. We had the yellow tweed reporter jacket that Carl was wearing. If I were to ever go into a reporter job, I would need to get myself a yellow tweed reporter jacket. <laughs> it's the truth. It is absolutely the truth. I mean, I can see, if you knew Jen, guys, you could see her wearing it. <laughs> yes. Yellow reporter glass jacket. Every everyone Living her needs best one life. for their closet. Yeah, yeah. But that specifically, if you're gonna be a reporter, you know, just say, just say. You can't, you can't be like a waitress in it. You can't, you know, be a clerk. It has to be specifically. You're a definitely jacket. not a secretary if you're wearing a yellow tweed jacket. Just not. It's true. <laughs> or it's a doctor. True. I mean, maybe on days off, but I doubt it. <laughs> Okay. We're ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> number <laughs> number four. Oh snap, y'all. Number four is my favorite. Honey, can we talk about Alex's red Valentine's prom date 
makeup for hurting your feelings dress. Like I absolutely <laughs> loved it. I was like, I give would me send the her lace. a room full of roses. Give me Kyler Lee in really anything specifically, but like that dress. I was like, yes, yes. I was like, you better and make Maggie, her put that dress on. Maggie knew her exact size. She was like, get her a size five, clearly six, <laughs> and her heel True. size. True, right? I'm like, how? Maggie sexy had all is the that? measurements. Well, I would too if I were Maggie. Hey, you know, I'm down for it. I was like, you better go. And speaking of that absolutely fabulous red, just beautifully laced dress that uh, Alex had on, can we talk about her girlfriend for number three? Maggie. If you're going to wear a red dress, <laughs> you need to be, <laughs> if you're going out in a red dress, you definitely need somebody in a black I call it the bachelor at, <laughs> like, she's like, the final rose is going to Alex Danvers. You know, and I was like, why is this like the bachelorette? This is ridiculous. And I loved it. And she was all cute and tidy in her little suit and like her little heels. I was like, yes. <laughs> it's so right. precious. Tough she's like, I'm going to be, stuff. exactly. She's like, I'm going to be feminine AF, but like at the same time, butchies all get out with my my suit. I wasn't mad. I was not upset. <laughs> I don't think I don't think anybody was. <laughs> who would be? I mean really who would be? Let's be honest with ourselves. Number two, the B D S M gold necklace collar around Lena Luther for no reason other than to have it there. This is what I accessorize with when I go to the office. Just kidding, I would never do that. <laughs> but she does. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really appreciate the fact that um, the costumers picked this piece of jewelry out because in that moment, she had a lot to say and she was, you know, emotionally constricted um, from saying it. So they really found a piece that showed the constriction in her vocals. Like, she was unable to speak, so we gave her this awesome choker, you know, really kind of signifying that. And I thought that was so smart. And once again, it shows the eye for detail. Just because, you know, uh, you know, there, it takes good people to make our actors and our characters look good and to really tell the story. And our costumers keep doing that. So, mazel tov. And the big. Oh, yeah. Oh, the, get ready for it. Guys, big, <laughs> the big number one. Number one. Both. Dun, 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 dun. Super Corp. Dun, 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 dun. Wedding dresses. Dun, 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 dun. Yes, we had, we had Lena wearing wearing the alien colors of Daxon because you know she'd totally wear the Krypton colors in the wedding and then we had Kara cross culture in a Vera Wang <laughs> yes <laughs> just being as beautiful they... as the days long both of them I mean they are just giving us all of the uh, super corp wedding ship feels that we can muster up you know we literally could imagine them both on their wedding day all we have to do is literally co- crop the picture and just like stick it together I mean, technically, you know, Kara and, uh, you know, Lena were one degree away from getting married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Because technically. you just, yeah, technically just remove Monel and ta da. So, yes, let's all open a little bit of bubbly. Don't get it on the dresses. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much these are our top uh, favorite outfits of the, or accessories outfits of. Mm-hmm. I mean, can we all just talk about it? Guys, put down in the comments below what you think your top outfits are, if you agree with this list or any of that stuff. Also, make sure to hit us up at whatabout underscore dat on our Twitter, you know, and we can tweet all of our favorite costumes to our favorite actresses and just say, hey, we want more of that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Dear Supergirl staff, F the writing, put the budget in the wardrobe. Like, I mean, clearly they have. So. <laughs> just like, yeah, just just forget everything. The wardrobe was fabulous. You guys did a good job this season. Thank you. It's true. So, uh, yeah, hit us up, guys, and thanks for listening. Have a good night, day, weekend, wherever you're listening to us. Have a good workout. Yes, you on the treadmill. I see you. Go, girl. All right. I support you. <laughs> I support you. I support your goals. Hashtag fit goals. <laughs> <laughs> for life. For life. Make, hashtag make it real. All right, I'll, I'll, All right. I'll see you next time. All right, bye.